This tiny red smudge left when the universe was just 2% of its current age. JWST measured it at Z equals 14.44, light from approximately 280 million years after the Big Bang. It's not a glitch, it's a galaxy, and it just became the farthest confirmed one we've ever seen. Let's meet Marm. Z14. All right, what are we looking at? Moam Z14 is a compact, surprisingly bright baby galaxy. The name comes from the Mirage or Miracle Survey that's hunting ultra-early galaxies. Z14 tags its extreme redshift. Translation, the universe has stretched its light so much that it only shows up in the infrared. First, JWST's NIRCAM images noticed Moam Z14 basically vanishes at shorter wavelengths and only appears past approximately 1.8 microns, a classic Lyman break dropout. Then, NIR specs split the light and, this is the key, saw a sharp Lyman alpha break plus several faint UV emission lines. That combo is the gold standard for a confirmed distance, not just a candidate. At this age, you expect tiny, faint smudges. Instead, Moem Z14 is luminous for its time. MUV approximately negative 20.2 and tiny, tiny, about 74 parsecs effective radius, roughly 240 light years across, yet still resolved. That size and shape hint that there isn't a big black hole engine dominating the light. It looks like a fierce burst of star formation in a very compact region. The spectrum shows strong nitrogen relative to carbon, an unusually high NC ratio. Astronomers see similar chemical patterns in ancient globular clusters around the Milky Way. That's a clue that we might be catching the birth of massive stars in dense clusters, the kind that flood space with ionizing light. Another twist. There's little sign of a heavy, damping wing from neutral hydrogen in front of it. That suggests the area around Marm Z14 could be partly ionized, even though most models say the cosmos should still be nearly 100% neutral at this time. Translation. The first galaxies may have been clearing cosmic fog earlier or faster than we expected. Mo MZ14 isn't just a one-off. The Mirage or Miracle Survey over approximately 350 arc minutes squared implies that bright galaxies at Z approximately equal to 14 to 15 are more than 100 times as common as pre-JWS models predicted. That's a huge nudge for our simulations of how fast the first stars and galaxies ignited. Last year, the record was Jade's GS Zoo 14.0 at Z, approximately 14.32, already wild. Now, Moem Z14 pushes the frontier even closer to the beginning, to Z equals 14.44. James Webb just broke its own record again. We're literally watching the universe switch on. Every confirmed galaxy this early tells us how quickly stars formed, how they built the first heavy elements, and how pockets of the cosmos turn transparent. It's like catching the first sparks before the lights come up. More JWST time is already probing these sources, and the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope will soon map huge areas even deeper. If Moema Z14 is the miracle, imagine its older neighbors waiting just beyond.